Hello everyone and welcome back. We're on um, this ship still. I've done a bit of training. I've well a bit of training. I say I've done quite a bit. What I've done off screen is I've got 99 potions and I've got 98 grenades. I would normally, in the past when I played this, I would normally use cheer until um, Tidus can get overkill on every single enemy. The fish don't give you much experience, like one or two at a time. Um, so I would normally be a lot further on the sphere grid than this. But this time I decided to just get through the fights as quickly as I possibly could do. Uh, and that's, how we, that's where we're right now. Uh, so yeah, the, the timer, ignore that, that's 17 hours. Um, the game has a, well, the PlayStation 5 has an annoying habit. When you are, when you go to the home screen of the PlayStation um, and don't close the game down, it will keep the time ticking on. Um, so yeah, I probably spent about three hours. Do you need, nope. So we are now ready to move, to finally progress with the story. Um, so today is the 5th of November, so happy bonfire night. This will come out late, much later than bonfire night, but happy bonfire night. Final Fantasy IX's last episode on my uh, on my account has just gone live too, so bittersweet moment today. But how are you all doing? Are you enjoying this series so far? So there will be one other opportunity to really farm for experience, and I will definitely be taking that, uh, and that'll be later on. Okay. So we are just going to use these. Uh, ooh. Wait, hang on. No, we're going to wait that. We're going to steal. Oh, this will be the pattern. Defend. Because now that we've got all those grenades. Look at this. Can get overkill on everything. There we go. Yeah, normally when I'm doing this, because I do the overkill in every fight, which, I mean, that does take about 10 hours to get everything where you need it. Um, the the other character um, I can't remember if she's been named yet or not. We'll call the mystery character from for now. Yeah, the mystery character. Um, she will she'll actually get her next sphere. If you notice on the experience, she's about a hundred and odd away. She starts at like three hundred and something away. Um, so yeah, I get that much. Yeah, that much um, grinding done. Yeah, always back up your saves, keep all your saves. You're about to see some excellent tech support here. Amazing. I don't think there's any boxes around here. I'm not using a guide, um, I will do for some of the temples later on. I know that like my, my favourite Final Fantasy YouTuber, he uses the Ultra Misha guide or something, which I might, I might do myself. There we go. Yeah, the reason why I don't use grenades straight away is one, the steel takes you back up to 99 and two, all members of the field have to have some sort of action so in Tidus's case it's just to defend and that way you'll get experience it's not enough just to be out there, you have to do something Not sure if you can hear the fireworks, but they are really going at it tonight. Any 
anything down here? No, okay. More grid air tech support. She just like sticking her thumbs up, like, yeah, good job. But it worked. Oh my, what is this? Oh, hello. Uh, we shall use a power spear and a grenade. Let's see what this does. Nice. Might as well use cheer. So if he's going to be hitting this guy, I want him to be using, hitting him with as, with as much power as possible. Do. Can still use that. Nice. Very good attack. Here we go. Ooh. Just one more of those and he'll be as he'll be hitting with as much power as he possibly can do. Titus is, re is ready to unleash. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, I didn't get an overkill. Oh, that's a shame. I probably should have. Yeah, I definitely should have used the um, the mix sphere, um, not sphere overdrive. Much later on in the fight. Oh well. It's fine. I can't go save it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yep. Okay. And there you go. Whatever this is, we've managed to turn it on. Interesting. And that's it. Nice, easy mission. Oh, there's a rabbit around here. See that below? You're going to see that later on. Oh yeah. Oh, that was a big firework. I love fireworks. I love that the I know there's a lot of places in the world where you can't you can't use them. I think in a lot of states in America they're banned, right? Unless it's um, like a public event. Whereas over here, you, anyone, any residential, any resident can get one, can get all of them legally. There's always a big debate though around this time of the year because obviously loads of pets were big. <laughs> Radaluk van 
We're a big pet country, and um, lots of dogs and cats scared this time of year. Hey! Hey, I helped out, didn't I? I know. Yeah, we also do. People still do use them as um, as weapons as well. I mean, they're essentially bombs, like small bombs. So. Oh, hungry. Oh, that actually looks nice. Right on. Take a breath when you're eating. Hey. It's because you eat too fast. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, he's very good, Hey. Anyway, we're out bed. Can't you tell? Wait, you're not an out bed hater, are you? I don't even know what an out bed is. Where are you from? Xanarkin. I'm a blitz ball player, star player of the Xanarkin Abes. Did you hit your head or something? Um, you guys hit me? Oh, right. Do you remember anything before that? So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Did I say something funny? You were near sin. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, you'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? Yeah, there is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So no one plays Blitzball there. Huh? What, what, what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkand. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! Wow, that is some revelation. We've just, um, we've just been there. We just watched him play Blitzball. 
It seems as though this sin has taken him a thousand years into the future. Jeez. I mean, at least they've still got technology and things like that. They seem, they seem to be doing okay for themselves. I should have saved. You said... You play Blitzball? Uh-huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Ah. Uh. Huh. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. You'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Oh. And one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, uh-huh. Her reaction that way, he didn't know what Luca was. Some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. Since when? Yevon? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place. That I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? No way! Yeah, I won't believe it either. Yeah, her reaction when he said Luca, I mean, she knows, well, she thinks that like, he's got this sin toxin. Maybe be less frustrated. Uh oh. Shin! Shin and Luca! Etonic! Etonic! 